Hello, hello, friends. Loba and Luna have been laying on the back of this couch so much that it's starting to sink in, and Luna is having to hold on for dear life. Um, I'm not really sure how to fix that. Oh, you poor thing. Now she just wants to play. She just wants attention now. Oh, I gave Luna attention, so now Loba's here. I don't want this video to get demonetized, but um, just imagine the video starts with um, that song Break Stuff by Limp Biscuit. That's how the day's going today. Today we have Beazelbub by Jonesy. Hello, normal 9x9 Sudoku rules apply. Standard arrows and Kropke dots. Arrows. Digits on an arrow sum to the digit in the attached circle. All circles have multiple arrows. Each arrow individually sums to the circled digit. Kropke. Digits separated by white dot are consecutive. Have fun. Sounds good to me. Oh, um, I didn't go over these. So arrows, whatever digit is in this circle, these three digits will sum to this. These two digits will sum to this. These two digits will sum to this. And these three digits will sum to this. Same thing with each of these. We have multiple arrows coming off of each of these circles, which is neat. Um, and the white crop key. So these two digits are consecutive. These two digits are consecutive. These two are consecutive. These two are consecutive, et cetera, et cetera. Um, no given digits. I really like the design we have here. It's, uh, it's almost symmetrical, right? There's a few differences here. Um, how... Do I want to get started? I probably should look at minimums for these arrows. Um, is there anything longer than a length of three? They all do have a length of three arrow, at least one. Um, I could use the same digits here that I put here, so I don't have to have two different ways to get this number or anything like that. Um, but I think three is the longest length. So, um, three different digits, which all of these would have to be, they all see each other, would be a minimum of one, two, three, which is a minimum of six. So, let's make this six, seven, eight, nine. Um, we don't have any rules about diagonals, so we really just have to have two different numbers. I could have, like, six, seven, seven, six or something, and that would be fine. Um, so far. Um, I probably want to look at these... These are, these are interesting. We have consecutive numbers. So for six, you could have one, two, and three. You could even have one, two, and four for seven here. One, two, and five. One, two, and six. All of these, all of these are possible if I use a one, two. Um, okay, didn't narrow anything down there. Uh, what about this, though? Where they all have to be consecutive with each other. We could do one, two, three. I'm not able to skip numbers and do one, two, four. That's no way. There's no way that's going to work. Um, it's throwing me off a little that the arrow connects this way, but it is the three digits on the arrow need to be consecutive with each other in a chain. Um, so one, two, three for six or two, three, four for nine. I think that's it. There's no other way. I mean, I can't go bigger than that. I can't go three, four, five. That would be bigger than just one digit. So I, yeah, I think one, two, three, or three, or two, three, four for six or nine. Okay. Um, I have to use the number two and the number three. I'm either doing one, two, three, or two, three, four. So this is either a two or a three. And then this outside would either be a one or a four. That's not true. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. That wasn't true what I said. Okay, that's better. Um, okay, let's look at this one then. This is gonna be pretty similar. Yeah, it's a chain again. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, or two, three, four. All right, so this is gonna be a two, three. Um, on the outside, we'll either have a 1, 3 or a 2, 4. Sounds good to me. This is also going to be either a 6 or a 9. Um, that doesn't mean anything about these, though. That would be, that would be fine. Um, let's see. This, though, could be anything. 
These could be anything. Let's see, two, three. Can I narrow this down more? This is either one, two, three. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is a two, three, so these can't be two, three. These are going to be one, four. So I'm either going to have one, two, three, or four, one, two, three, or four, three, two. So this is also going to be a two, three. Very nice. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> one, two, three, or four, three, two. Okay. Nice. Nice. Now I know that I have two threes going this way, and I won't be able to use two threes here at all. So two different digits here. The lowest this can be is one four. Um, could I do one five here? I could do a one five. This would have to be consecutive with either one or five. A two. One, two, five would work for this. What's the lowest this can be? If it's a one, four, two. Um, that would be seven. So there's no way this could be a six. And that's going to be the same thing here. Um, the lowest this could be is one, four, and then a two, which would be a seven. There's no way this could be a six. Can I keep going with this? I might be pretty limited on my options here. I do know that one, four, and two are options. Let's go ahead and pencil that. If this is. What if I do the four here? I could do three, four, one, which would be eight. That would be an option. What if I do one, five here? One, two, five, that would work. What if I do five, four? Nope, that won't work. So this does have to be a one, four, and this does have to be a two, three. How can I take the five out of here to get nice, clean numbers? What happens? I think that's trying too hard. Um, okay, let's look at this one then. This is going to be the same. Because even though the arrow is like drawn in a different direction, it's the, the order of the numbers on the arrow doesn't matter. It's still connecting these three cells, still connecting these three cells, and the vertical two in column eight are the consecutive ones. I think this is going to be the same thing. Am I happy that I did I go through all the options? If this is a one, this would have to be a two. If this is a four, I don't want to go up to a five. So I'd have to go down to a three. Um, this can't be a two or a three. And this would just be the leftover number to get this. I can't put a five here. This has to be one or a four. I think I am. Um, this would be one four. This is gonna be a two three. This is gonna be a one four five. What about one two six? Actually, oh shoot, yeah. Dang it, dang it. What about these at the same time though? Uh, because one of these is gonna be one two, and then the other one's gonna be four three. So the one that is one two. Could be with a four, five, six. The one that's with the four, three would have to be with a one. I don't think that changed anything. I don't think that changed anything. No, I could, I could even have four, three, two. No, I can't because of this. It would just be four, three, one. Hmm. Okay. What more can I do here? This is an interesting pattern. What can go here? The lowest these four could be would be one, two, three, four. Um, so this could go all the way up to a five. And I think anything lower than a five, actually. What if this was a one? Oh, actually, these do need to be four different numbers. Because they all share this number, and these four numbers need to be different, which means you're going to get four different numbers. <gasps> Look at that. This is going to be a 7, 8. This is going to be a 7, 8. Um, so I don't want a 6 here anymore. And I think I don't want the 5 either, um, because 
the five only works if I have one, two, one, two, and that won't happen. I'm going to have a one, two, four, and a four, two, one. That's how I'm going to get the seven and the eight. Okay. Nice. 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 That's cool. That's cool. Do I want to pencil options for this? This could be a nine and I have some options here. Maybe I want to pencil options for this. If this is a five, this would be one, two, three, four. But I mean, if this is a one, it's the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This is going to be an eight, seven, six, five. Um, oh, there's actually some numbers I can't use here. For example, I can't use a three because whichever one of these is a six would have another three and that would break. I also can't use a four. Um, because in order to get the eight, I would have to use another four. So this is a one, two, five. If it's one, five, six, seven, eight, seems fine. If it's two, four, five, six, seven, seems fine. If it's five, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, what else do I want to do? One of these is one, two, four. The other one is four, three, one. I want to look at options here. Hi, Luna. You were wrestling with Loba a minute ago. What happened? You all good now? Uh, this is actually kind of interesting. These digits here. This one is on arrows and also can't be a 1, 2, 3, 4. So this could be a 5 at the lowest. Um... I don't want it to be a 9, because I do need to add something if this was a 9. I also don't want it to be an 8, because the highest this could be is an 8. It could be a 7, and then I could have 1, 2 for 8, 9. It could be a 6. And then I could have a 1 or a 2, and then a 3. Or I could have a 5, and this could be a 1. And this could be a 2 or a 3. Five, six, seven is fine. Um, does five and one do something here? Like if this is a six and this is five, one, and this could not also be five, one. That's fine. Let's look at uh, these actually. These are four different digits to get 15. Mm. What's that, buddy? Four different digits to get 15. I'm actually not super limited on that. That seems fine. Um, what about that? These. Wow. Okay. I have to use big digits here. Um, these can't be one, two, three, four. So this at a minimum would be five, six, which is already 11. So this would have to sum to four, which would be one, three. Um, I think I could do one, three or one, two, and this would have to be five, six or five, seven. I have to use a five and I have to use a one. I believe if this can't be one, two, three, four, the lowest it could be is five, six, meaning this would be one, three. This can only go down one more because of just the digits available. Uh, so it could go down to one, two, and this could go up to five, seven. But either way, I have to use a five and I have to use a one. Okay, nice. Um, I have a one in this column and I have a one in this column. I need a one in this column. Can't go where I already have digits. Can't go in here because I already have a one. We'll come we'll come back to that. Um The only way to get six is with the five. So whichever one of these is a six is gonna be where the five one goes. The five one's gonna go together. So one of these is gonna be five one. And the other one's going to have to sum to 9. 6, 3, or 7, 2. Mm, I have options. Um, so I'm never going to have 1, 5 here. So this is okay. Hmm. Let's look at this. This is 3 cells to get 15. This can be a minimum of 5. Meaning this would sum to 10. 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I don't want it to be a 9 and I don't want it to be an 8. I also really don't want it to be a 7, actually. I could have 6, 1, 2, or 
five two three. Okay. What if five goes here and neither one of these can be five? Does that cause problems? Is that thinking too far ahead? Maybe I want to pencil these. If this is one, this would be five and eight. If this is two, this would be four and seven. If this is five, this would be one and four. That's kind of a lot of options. One would make this six, seven. Two would make this uh, five, six. Five would make this two, three. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to do that yet. I want to look at options for this. These are going to be pretty low. If this is a five, this would be a one or a four. If this is a six, this is going to be a three. If this is a seven, this is going to be a two. Okay, one, two, three, four is nice. This is a five, this will be a two or a three. If it's a six, it'll be a one or a two. And if it's a seven, it'll be a one. Okay. Okay. If this is a six, this will be one, two, three. If it's a nine, I have options. There's probably something with how these work together. Oh, you know what? This pattern um, looks a little bit familiar. Actually, actually, I can, I can explain this actually, I should explain this. Okay, so the numbers in here are the numbers one through nine used once each, right? The numbers in here are also the numbers one through nine used once each. So the same numbers that go in here are the same numbers that go in here. Um, if we expand that, and say that, oh, uh, let's take a step back. <laughs> the numbers that go in here are also the same numbers that go here. And so if you overlap them, then you can say, oh, well, these six numbers are the same as these six numbers. They also share these three numbers, but we can just take those out because they're the same in both places. It could be like a one, two, three or something. So um, if we expand this, and we say all of these blue sections share the same numbers as all of these red sections. And we take out the ones that overlap. Somehow I missed making this blue. Um, we take out all of the ones that overlap. And then technically these corners are two red because I put a red this way and a red this way. So if I take out one red and one blue, we're left with a single red square here. Um, the numbers that go in these red cells are gonna be the same numbers that go in these blue cells. That was not my best explanation, but uh, that's, uh, that's kind of how it works. Um, so I know actually that these corners are gonna have to be six, seven, eight, nine also, because we have six, seven, eight, nine in the red numbers and they can't go where we already have digits penciled in. So I don't know if I can do anything with that, but these are gonna be six, seven, eight, nine. Um, maybe I can do something with figuring out what these are. One, two, and one, three. I uh, one, two, and one, three. We have three twos and three threes. And we also have three ones and three fours. So, I mean, all of these are gonna have to be one, two, three, four. These are not arrows at all. These aren't, wow, these aren't on arrows at all. Um, so it's gonna be hard to narrow down. I think the cats are doing backflips over there. Um, if this can only be one, two, three, four, 
Oh, actually, this will either be one, two, three, or two, three, four. Nice. It'll be the same. These three digits are the same as these three digits. What? Hello? Wait, that's really cool, actually. These three are going to be the same as these three. Can I do that again, please? I don't think so. That is neat. That is neat. Um, pink is all the same, green is the same, and then blue and red are going to be the same. I'm going to change these to be the same color. These three digits are the same as these three digits. All of red is the same, and then pink is the same. Okay. What can I do with this? So now I only have two twos and two threes to use in here. I have two ones, two fours, and then another, either a one or a four. I have a maximum of three ones. I've already used one here. These are throwing me off, though. They could, those are just going to be the extras. That could be anything. Um, well, gosh. Are there more lines I can draw that would be more helpful? I'm listening to music in my headphones and dancing to it, but that part, the music isn't going to be in the video. <laughs> Embarrassing. Um, what could I do? Do next. The only way six works here is if five goes here. So this would be a one. Meaning this would also be a five and a one. Meaning this would have to be a two. And this would have to be a four. Can I do something with that? Um, if this is a five, then these corners are one, two, three, four. Is that bad? Does that cause problems? If this is a one, that means this is a five. Because if this is one, then this has to be one and this has to be five. So that'd be five and one. So if this is one, this has to be a six. Hey, are you climbing on stuff? Does that cause interactions that are bad? Mm. Oh, I do remember the last time these digits ended up being really important. Okay, what can I do with that? Um, I've used one, two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, nine. I need... I don't have fives, really. I have fives here. What about in here? Like, okay, if this is a two, where does the three go in here? It can't go here. It can't go here. Three would go here or here. Shoot. <laughs> um... Okay... That would mean only one of these could use a three. They can't both use a three. Could I do something with that? Gosh. If this is a one or a four, where does the other one or four go? It can't go here. It also can't go here. If it's a one, it can't go here. 
Okay, maybe I should think about where can one go in here? One has to go here or here. I was kind of saying earlier, where does the one in this column go? One either goes here or here. So if there's a one here, there won't be a one here. But that's fine because it's the only, the only way a one would go here is if this is a six. Okay, if this is a six, one goes here. If this is a six, there's no one here at all. So these aren't going to be one. Meaning I actually don't want this to be a seven. Can I do more with that? If there's a one up here, this is a six. And so one goes here. Um, uh, there's no way a one can go here. That's a small cleanup, but... Actually, if I could get one out of here, that'd be awesome. <laughs> That's the, the extra ones that aren't on arrows. This is a 5-6 and this is a 5-6. What can I do with this? Okay, I want to keep looking at these maybe. One either goes here or here. About fives. The only five I know for sure is this one. Like, where could a five go in here? It just can't go there. But that's fine. What about this column? This column can only have one more low number. This column can only have one more low number. This row can only have one more low number. Okay, so we for sure have a 2, 3, and then either a 1 or a 4. We need another 1 or a 4. It can't go here, so the other 1 or 4 will definitely go here. It can't go here, so this is the 1 or the 4 that's not this one. Does that make sense? <laughs> this row still needs another 1 or 4. Can't go where we already have digits. It also can't go in here because we already have both 1 and 4. It can't go in this column because we have both 1 and 4. So this is going to be the other 1 or 4. Can I do that again? This region needs another two or three. It can't go here. It can't go where we already have digits. And it can't go here. So this will be the other two or three. This region needs another two or three. It can't go here. I don't know about this though. That was making it easier. Um, This column can only have one more low digit, and I already have one. So the other two or three goes up here. Um, It can't go right here. Duh, because we have both of them. So this is the other two or three. I, I almost put it there, but I wanted to prove it, and I'm kind of glad I did because I would have missed some things. This region needs another one or four. It can't go here because of this. It can't go here because of this. Um, and this row already has four low numbers, so this is going to be the other one or four. Okay. We have all our low digits for these columns. This is a good way of thinking about this. Um, I think I'm missing something. What can I do with this? These are going to be high numbers and a five. Five can't go here, so one of these is going to be a five. Okay, I need a five in here. It can't go here, so one of these is definitely a five, meaning a five in here 
would go here. What about ones? This can't be a one. And it can only be a one or four because that's the only place one and four can go in here. So this is going to be a four, meaning this is a one. Nice. And we said one, two, three was going to be a six. Uh, this is going to have to be a two and this is going to have to be a three. Nice. The side, I don't know what to call these. The sides of the corner regions, they worked out. They worked out. That was really nice. Um, this is going to be a nine. We have a lot of cleaning up to do. This is a one, two. So this is a three. This is a four. This is a two. This can't be a nine. Um, if this is the six, that means this is the five and this is the one. This is not a five and this is not a one. This also can't be a four anymore. Um, this is a four, so this is a one, meaning these are not one. It's going to be two, three, four for the nine. If this is a one, this can't be a one. This also can't be a one. Okay, what else could I do? Um, two, three, and one, and four. They don't see these, of course. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Um, this is a seven, eight, nine. This is also going to be seven, eight, nine. Nine can't go here, but that's minor. We'll come back to that maybe. If this is a six, this has to go one, five. That's the only option here. So this also can't be five. It's going to be a two. Um, if this is a two, this will be a four. This will be a seven. Okay. Uh, these are going to be a five, six. This can't be a five, so it's a six, and this is a five, meaning this is an eight, and this is a seven. Hi, Luna. Oh, that was loud. What's going on, dude? If this is an eight, we have a five here. This will be a three, meaning this can't be a two or a three. It's a four. Um, let's see. What else can I clean up? Two, three, two, three. This is a four, so this can't be a four. This can't be a two or a four, so it's a three. This can't be a three. This can't be a three. It's a two, so this is a four. Um, do, 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 do. This can't be a two anymore. It's a three, four. Two, three. Two, three. Six, seven. Ooh. I th think that's it. Did I miss anything? Double checking. I'm scanning. We're going to be good at scanning today. Excellent scanners. Okay, if this is definitely an eight and this is a five or a six, this can't be a one anymore. Um, it's either a two or a three. And um, if this is definitely a seven and this is a five or a six, this is going to be a two or a one. It won't be a three. Okay. Digits here. Oh, I still don't know these though. Nope. This is uh, two ones, two fours, and a two and a three. Two ones, two fours, and a two and a three. Let's do it this way. I've already used both my ones. So I can't use another one. So this is going to be a two, meaning this is five. And this is going to be a three, meaning this has to be a four. This has to be a three because of this two. And this has to be a two. Uh, three plus six is nine. Perfect. Three, one, two, one, four, three, two, four, three. Um, no, are you kidding? What if, did I count the ones wrong? Oh, I need to include these also. Okay, at least it's only a step back. It's only a step back. Um, I don't have to go too far back. It's not just these ones I need to count. It's these as well. Um, but an easier way to see this is that we have a two, three pair. So I can take two out of here and make this a one. And I can take three out of here and make this a four. Um, oops, we'll forget that ever happened. Slight uh, oversight. Uh, this needs to be a 2, and this needs to be a 7. And that looks a lot better. Uh, we can also say, because this is a 7, this needs to be 1, 2, 4. And this is the 8, so it'll be 4 and 3 and 1, meaning this is a 2. Nice. 
uh, Sudoku after this. I believe is where we're at. The only pencil marks I still have left are these corners, and then also the fact that a five goes here. But, um, I think we're good to go. This is also going to be a 79. This one can't be a nine, and this can't be an eight. Oh gosh, what's a good place to start with Sudoku? I feel like none of these, okay, maybe this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be a five. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's going to be easy to narrow down here. This region still needs a five, six, seven, nine. It sees a six and a five. Uh, this is the only place five can go in here. So this is a five, I meaning this can't be a five. So I need a five here. Okay. I can't take this any farther, I don't think. We have a seven, nine. Uh, this is six, seven, nine. This is a seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, seven, nine. Oh, this is a seven. So this is a nine. Um, meaning this is not nine. We're going to have a seven, eight pair here. This is a nine. So this is a seven. All right. Okay. This region still needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't have a seven at all. Can't have nine here. Um, five, six, eight. This would also be a five, six, eight. For the row. Um, but it can't be a five because we already have a five here. We have to have a five here. This can't be a six. I'm not noticing anything right away. Okay, um, maybe this column? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of these has to be a nine. This can't be a five. I'm a five for this region, actually. Let's look at it that way. Can't be there, can't be there. So this has to be a five. I mean, this will be a five. We have an eight, nine. This will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a three, so this will be a seven, and this will be a three. Maybe this would be good to look at since it's right in the middle, maybe. We need a one. This has to be a one. Two, we need a three. Um, three can't go here, here. So this is a three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight and nine. I don't think I can clean that up yet. This for the row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, this is a six. This can't be a six. This can't be a six. So this is an eight. This becomes a nine. So this becomes a six. Cool. I did not get eight, nine for this. This would have to also be an eight, nine for the row. Uh, meaning this is also an eight, nine. Man. I don't see anything for these actually. Okay. Um, but we have an eight, nine, so this can't be an eight. It's a seven, meaning this is an eight. Uh, this can't be an eight or seven, so it's a six. Need a five in here still. These would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. This is a seven, so this will be a nine, and this will be a seven. This doesn't see any of the eight nines I have. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two can't go here. This can't be a six. Two also can't go here, actually. This is a six, eight. I don't think I can say. Okay. This needs to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, five and seven, we don't have yet. Let's see. This column still needs an eight, nine. 
and a 1. This can't be a 1 or a 9, so it's an 8, meaning this is a 1, 9. This will be a 9, so this will be a 1. This becomes an 8, this becomes a 9, this becomes an 8. Sounded like cat scratching something. Um, This is an 8, so this is a 6, and this is an 8. This region, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This can't be a 6, 5, 7, 9. These can't be 9. 5, 6, 7. Okay. Um, 5 can't go here, and also 6 cannot. So this is going to be a 7. I mean, this is a 5, and this is a 7. These also are not 7. This is not 7. This is a 9. This is a 5. This is a 6. Very nice. I felt like my Sudoku at the end was not great. I had a hard time figuring out, like, what would be most strategic to look at? Um, I'm, I'm probably just out of practice. I had a hard time trying to figure out what I should look at. But I think I always have an issue with that with Sudoku. Very nice puzzle, Jonesy. I really enjoyed this one. And I'm really happy that I remembered I could use the Fisto ring. And that would help me out there. Um, I think it did. Except for the mistake I made with it. Um, whoops. But noticing that these were going to be the same too was really nice. Because that narrowed down what matched with the red as well. Uh, but very nice puzzle. Let me know how you all did in the comments.